So on the left hand side I've got my MacBook Pro 2019 and on my right hand side I've got this new M1 MacBook Air and what I'd like to do is do a, a setup and do a kind of standard time machine migration. So I want to test whether this Intel MacBook Pro can actually um, use a time machine backup or migration assistant to copy data onto this one, even though they've got completely different architectures. This one's Intel and this one's the ARM chip with the Apple Silicon inside it. I've turned on my MacBook Air and I'm just gonna go through the standard setup and uh, go to my Wi-Fi. So once I've connected to Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna navigate past the data and privacy section and I'm going to see whether it's possible to do Migration Assistant. So it looks like it definitely is possible. And what I'm gonna do is click Next. And then we're gonna look for our Time Machine Backup. So um, I have my Time Capsule, which, I'm going, which I, I've got attached to the network, which I can restore from. Um, another option as well is to use the Migration Assistant. So if I go to Spotlight and type in Migration Assistant, and then if I click Continue and uh, Authenticate, it will show us an alternative menu. So um, if I select that I want to migrate my data from this MacBook Pro to this new MacBook Air M1, I can select that I want to transfer to another Mac. And then because they're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, this one will appear there. What I'm gonna do is migrate from this computer directly peer to peer and see if that works faster. Press continue. And it's just gonna check all of the files and folders and all the settings to transfer. So it's quite, you know, I'm quite glad that this is working and it just goes to show that Apple is gonna continue supporting the Mac infrastructure on Intel um, going forward. And that this, this transition, you know, for a lot of users is gonna be completely seamless. So um, I can see my files here and I'm going to press continue. I'm gonna set my password. and press continue, agree, and agree. And now this is gonna transfer data peer to peer. So I could have done it from my time capsule, but I'm gonna do it peer to peer now. And uh, that doesn't require any external hardware like a time capsule. And we just have to kind of wait for it to complete this um, migration. I would also advise plugging them in, which I'm gonna do now, and make sure that they don't lose power as this uh, process can take quite a long time. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.